fluoride has come to be exposed as being an industrial byproduct and an extremely toxic chemical with numerous documented negative health effects. Scientific studies have shown that these include arthritis, diabetes, endocrine disruption, gastrointestinal effects, hypersensitivity, kidney disease, male fertility, skeletal fluorosis and thyroid disease, as well as damage to bone structure and the brain. Fluoride accumulates in the pineal gland and impairs its functioning, which effectively means it shuts down our access to higher potentials. Additionally, fluoride is implicated in cardiovascular disease and cancer, which are the two highest leading causes of death in the US. Although there is doubt over whether Hitler and Nazi concentrations camps or Stalin and Soviet gulags first used it on prisoners, many agree that fluoride brings about docility in those who consume it, which may be due to the pineal gland shutdown, a handy side effect for those who wish to control the masses. What you may not be aware of, however, is just how widespread fluoride is. It is so ubiquitous and deleterious it almost functions as the controller's linchpin of destruction. It's not just in the water. Keep watching to see all the other places you find it and some solutions for how you can detoxify it and get it out of your body. For those of you eating non-organic fruits, vegetables and grains and thinking you have a very healthy diet, think again. There's fluoride in your food. Many common pesticides, including herbicides, miticides and fungicides, contain sodium fluoride as their active ingredient, including Rexco Roach Death, Roach's Last Meal, Bug No More, and Osmoplastic Wood Preserving Compound. NoFluoride.com has an extensive list of pesticides that include fluoride. This stuff is getting sprayed on your food and being absorbed by the plants, so even if you wash your veggies thoroughly before eating, you can't get into every plant fiber and extract it. This is not to mention that if you use any roach bait or furniture preservers in your house, you have even more fluoride in your home. What happens after the roaches crawl through the roach bait, then crawl all over your plates and cups? Additionally, fluoride is in the Teflon coating of non-stick pans. If you cook with those, you're getting it in your food. Before I continue the video, please smash that like button for me. Thank you. The Weston A. Price Foundation, named after revolutionary dentist Weston A. Price, who discovered that certain nutrients like fat-soluble vitamins A, D, and K, prevented tooth decay, released a shocking report, showing that tea contains a lot of fluoride. The reason for this is that tea leaves very readily accumulate fluoride. In fact, according to the foundation, tea is very high in fluoride because tea leaves accumulate more fluoride from pollution of soil and air than any other edible plant. It is well established that fluoride in tea gets absorbed by the body in a manner similar to the fluoride in drinking water. Fluoride content in tea has risen dramatically over the last 20 years due to industry contamination. Recent analyses have revealed a fluoride content of 17.25 mg per tea bag or cup in black tea and a whopping 22 mg of soluble fluoride ions per tea bag or cup in green tea. Given all their horrendous side effects, calling big pharma drugs medicine is stretching definitions a lot and doing a great disservice to effective natural health remedies, but be that as it may, there is also fluoride in your medicine. Fluoride is the key ingredient in the fluoroquinolone class of antibiotics, including drugs such as ciprofloxacin or cipro, leviquin, avalox, and tequin. Antipsychotics, such as flufenazine, contain fluoride, as do HIV protease inhibitors, such as topranivir, and anesthetics, such as halothane. Fluoride is also a primary ingredient in Big Pharma's lovely antidepressant drugs like Prozac and Paxil. It is precisely these drugs that have been implicated in several recent mind control shootings, for example, the Aurora Batman shootings of James Holmes, where the alleged victim was confirmed to have been taking antidepressants. Thanks to our friends at Colgate et al., it is now very hard to find any toothpaste at all, which doesn't contain fluoride. According to the Fluoride Action Network, over 95% of the toothpaste sold in the US has it. Not even our youngest and most vulnerable are immune to the fluoride onslaught. There are alarmingly high levels of fluoride in infant formulas and other baby food, so much so that lawsuits have been brought against Nestle, Dannon and Gerber, such as this one which was unfortunately overruled. If you live in America, take note. More people drink fluoridated water in the US than the rest of the world combined. Most developed nations do not fluoridate their water, for example, in Western Europe, only 3% of the population consumes fluoridated water. 
with 72% of Americans getting fluoride through their tap, and 42 out of the largest 50 US cities receiving fluoridated water. Check with your local municipality to see if your water is being injected with it. If you want to get fluoride out of your body, then firstly, ensure you are not taking it in. Eat organic to avoid pesticide laden food. Avoid big pharma drugs wherever possible. Find natural toothpastes that contain baking soda, essential oils, coconut oil and xylitol. If your municipality fluoridates, filter your water, but not with just any filter, fluoride is hard to remove. RO, or reverse osmosis, may take out most of it. Water distillation seems to be the best way. Secondly, since fluorine is a member of the halogen group of elements, it displaces other halogens in your body, especially iodine. Iodine is an absolutely essential nutrient in the human body, the importance of which cannot be overstated. By ensuring you increase your amounts of iodine, your body will be less susceptible to absorbing fluoride. Thirdly, natural health writer, Paul Fossa, suggested using lecithin, as an adjunct to iodine, for excreting fluorides, as well as tamarind, boron, dry saunas and liver cleanses. He also suggested that people take steps to relieve fluoride toxicity and neuropathy symptoms, by boosting their immune and nervous systems. This can done by increasing omega-3 intake, for example, using flax, hemp or chia seeds, increasing ALA, or alpha-lipoic acid, intake to counter neuropathy, increasing vitamin B complex intake, including B12, but only the methylcobalamin type, and increasing COQ10, especially as ubiquinol. Additionally, magnesium chloride and magnesium citrate are beneficial in assisting almost any treatment. Lastly, since neuropathy is an inflammation of nerve tissue, properly consuming and cooking with turmeric, or curcumin, can also be quite beneficial. Lastly, evidence suggests turmeric can reduce the effects of fluoride poisoning. For the New World Order conspirators, fluoride must be something like 9 elevenths. It seems to be behind everything. It seems to be a linchpin holding up a bed of lies. I imagine they would be just as loath for the masses to know the truth about it, as they would for people to know the truth about 9 11 Don't believe for a minute that the government fluoridates water because it really cares about people's health, since when does a government that experiments on its own citizens suddenly care about your dental cavities? The mass, non-consensual medication, for example, drugging, of the population through fluoride, stands as a massive crime against humanity. It's time to do something about it and take charge of your own health. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.